Hey, this is Jacob at SalesPad, and today we're going to look at how to or how to make documents um, or specific batches read only. Um, this can be controlled through security, uh, so we're going to go into our security editor, and we're going to pick the uh, the group that we want to. Um, and again, to get the security editor, you can go to modules and security editor at the bottom of the list. Um, in this case, I have it added to my favorites bar. Um, I'm going to pick the group that I want to uh, make the change to. And I'm going to look at sales document entry. So I find the security and then look at the sub uh, security options for that. And I'm going to look for Q access list. Now we've recently renamed this. It used to be, um, I believe, uh, work access list. Um, so if you're in an older version, um, it may say work access list. And the newer version is just going to say Q access list. Um, so find this uh, setting or the security. And we're going to hit the drop down. Now, this is going to look at all of the queues that I have set up in my workflow. Um, so, if you're not using workflow, you're not really going to be able to use this. Um, but by default, it has a star or an asterisk in that uh, in that field, which means I have access to all queues. Um, otherwise, I can check specific queues, and whichever ones I check, those are the queues I have access to, which means that I can both read and write or save documents in that queue. Um, so in this case I want to look at um, a distribution order. I'm going to give myself access to the pending order queue and then let's say to the shipping queue. Um, now what it's also going to do is if you have the same queue name for other document types or for other order um, document types or order types it's going to go ahead and default or check those by default so you'll see that it checked the order DC shipping by default so you can uncheck those if you want to or just by checking it you can select the one as well um, so I have those checked and now I'm ready to go back to my list and so you'll see it shows pending order and shipping and those are the two queues that I have access to um, for all of the order types. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now anytime I make changes to security you have to log out and log back in. So in this case I'm going to go ahead and log out, log myself back in, and I'm going to just pull up a customer. Actually I'm going to pull up my sales monitor so I have visibility into all of my queues. And so I'm going to look at my distribution orders and look at pending orders. I'm going to go ahead and check AR review. Um, so I'm going to open an order in the pending order queue. So I have access to the pending order queue. So I'm going to open my order. The order looks just fine. I can go ahead and make changes to it. I can resave the order. I can do whatever uh, I need to. Typical order entry at this point. If I go back to the sales monitor and select an order in the AR review queue, this case I do not have access to this queue. This is one that is only marked as read only. So in this case, the document when I open it is marked as read only. The only option that I have to do is print this document or I could copy this over to a new document and start it over. So this is how I'm making uh, specific queues read only and therefore documents in those queues are read only and I cannot make changes to it. Thanks for watching. Again, this is Jacob at SalesPad. Have a good day.